from the Pacific Bath Company studio, it's the Mark Mason Show. And now it's time for our Salem Insider. What's going on in Salem? Jeff Newgard joins us, our Salem Insider, lobbyist for PacWest Communications. Welcome back to the show, Jeff. Oh, it's great to be here, Mark. Uh, we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel there in Salem, but I am afraid it's an oncoming train. Uh, what's what's your assessment? Uh, I have a similar assessment. Uh, I think that it's time to go and set the countdown timer for adjournment, but uh, every single day or an hour that's added to the clock is uh, more time for some shenanigans to happen. Yeah, uh, I mean, we're, we're days before adjourning, and uh, it's supposed to be wrapped up by when exactly? Uh, so the legislature is required by the state constitution to adjourn by July 10th. Uh, they typically adjourn well before that. Um, and it really could happen any day now because the, the big controversial issues of session, that is the corporate taxes, the health care taxes, and the transportation package are either uh, are or near being finished. You know, let's talk about some of those things. Uh, the transportation package, that's the one we keep hearing a lot about, that we're oh so close, we're oh so close. Um, are, are, uh, are we going to get it done? What is the effect on, uh, on the average Oregonian? So there is a apparent deal on a watered-down version of the transportation package that was struck just in the past couple of days. Uh, what we're expecting to see is about uh, half of the, the cost. So previously it was an $8 billion package. Now we're hearing rumors that it's going to be a $4 million package with reduced taxes um, and so some of those fees that we heard a lot about in the news uh, taken off the table. Um, it's not going to be as robust of a package. There might not be funding for all of the big freeway projects in the Portland area, um, but it's still at least something to go and address uh, the major congestion issues in the area and throughout the state. What I'm hearing is you can tell me if these are true or false, 12 cent per gallon increase in the gas tax? Sounds about right. Uh, one, 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 one thing that we've heard is that the numbers have been changing a little bit over the past couple of days as they've been kind of working with all the caucuses in the legislature to make sure that okay. they can maneuver the votes that they need. All right. And then uh, uh, vehicle registration and title fees would increase? They would. Uh, there'd be a tax on the sales or... A uh, uh, 0.75% tax on the sales of new and used vehicles. Wow, a sales tax on cars. Wow. So that rate, that, that rate's actually going to be lower. Last I heard, it was about 0.5%. But again, all of these numbers are changing. Uh, and a tax on new adult bicycles. Wow, that's another that's another big one. Yeah, but one thing that's interesting is that the, the tax on bicycles doesn't actually bring in that much money. More than anything else, it's, it's a statement that everybody has to contribute to, to highway and road projects. You know, you have to have skin in the game. Uh, there'd be a uh, like a 0.01% payroll tax increase. And then here's the other one that just blows me away. Tolls on two Portland area freeways subject to federal approval. Uh, what freeways are they? I imagine I-5? So the freeways that we've been hearing is I-5 and I-205. And those are likely going to be the major projects that aren't funded in this package. And the toll the toll money that would come in uh, from those freeways would uh, be one of the potential ways to be able to go and find finance projects further down the road. Jeff, so, uh, so I'm, I'm driving to a Blazer game my 41-plus nights a year. I'm paying a toll to go downtown. And back. Unless you're driving, unless you're driving on the the side road, but good luck doing that. <laughs> wow, wow, that's been okay. All right, so uh, uh, we've already heard about the health care tax. We've talked about that before, uh, and uh, and the corporate tax, the son of ninety seven. We've talked about that before. Uh, I mean, all, all three of these uh, are they going to cover this big budget shortfall? It looks like the budget shortfall is going to be addressed, especially with those health care taxes. Uh, the budget shortfall gets somewhere in the ballpark of three to five hundred million. And at that point, it's not nearly as hard to go and do line item cuts in the budget to non-essential services um, that aren't felt really hard. Uh, OK, so, uh, I mean, things look like they're they're headed all in the. Uh in a direction where everybody can agree, or not everybody, but enough, enough to agree on something. But why am I hearing about all sorts of controversy down there in Salem? So one of the big issues that you have with any type of last-minute negotiation is that it takes time. And, and since this negotiation on uh, the watered-down transportation package is taking longer than they thought, it's creating an environment where there's many lobbyists and many legislators that are getting bored, and boredom 
very often uh, turns into uh, people trying to go and resurrect old and dead ideas. And so we're starting to see some of the ideas from earlier in session coming back up, and that just starts to create chaos. But the problem that it creates there is that when you have some of those old ideas that uh, were already defeated, um, there's a good chance that those can actually go and undermine the ongoing negotiations for the transportation package. So it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, high, it's a high stakes game going on right now. Wow. And so I'm going to guess that uh, this isn't going to be settled like by this afternoon. No. So we, everybody received a memo yesterday morning saying, uh, be prepared to be in the Capitol on Saturday. Be, be prepared to be here on the 4th of July. Uh, they're hunkering down. They're, they're getting ready to, to figure this one out. Well, there's lots of controversy going on, and uh, and you guys may be there for a long time, but uh, fill me in on this special elections bill, too, that I'm hearing about. Julie Parrish, I'm just looking at a memo from her. Well, so there's been murmurs going throughout the Capitol all week where uh, the Democratic leadership is looking at going and setting a process for any bill that the legislature has passed. If any, of, if any bill uh, is referred to voters, um, that the legislature gets to go and control the process. Now, that's different than the way that it's typically done. Typically, the attorney general gets to go and write the ballot title, and the secretary of state gets to go and manage the election. Um, but from what we're hearing, it looks like the legislature is trying to go and give itself the authority to go and write the actual words um, that will be on the, on the ballot that are going to be read by the voters for determining their vote, um, which is essentially the legislature being able to go and control the process. Um, it's very frustrating for, for the folks that are trying to go and put these issues on the ballot to go and have the voters decide. Um, but it's just another way for the legislature to have more control. Maybe you will be there longer than July 10th. Um, all right, Jeff Newgard, lobbyist, PacWest Communications, our Salem Insider. Thank you for the update. We'll talk to you in a week. Great to be here, Mark.